How to Travel with a Brompton on an Airplane. This video is for those people who would like to bike to the airport to catch their departing flight and then bike, bike from their arrival airport to their ultimate destination. As such, your luggage will simply consist of your Brompton bicycle, right here, and probably a tea bag or a sea bag that clips right onto your Brompton. So here's the tea bag, right? It just clips right on, and then when you're done, you just unclip it. So for travel, of course, I recommend the larger tea bag, that's the one I have here, since it has more space for all of your stuff. This video will address how to get your Brompton through airport security, how to carry your Brompton onto an airplane, and how to gate check the Brompton if necessary. This video is not for people who want to check their Brompton as checked luggage at the airport. Now, checking your Brompton requires the use of either the soft travel case, the B bag, or the hard travel case. Now, although these cases do protect the Brompton, they are rather bulky and unwieldy. It can be quite challenging and difficult to bike to and from the airport while lugging a soft or hard, or hard travel case with you. You will probably end up needing a car, bus, or train ride to and from the airport. I think a better, lighter, more nimble, and more interesting approach is to bike on your Brompton to and from the airport, and then to simply carry the Brompton right onto the airplane with you, or to gate check it if necessary. You will not need the soft or hard travel case to do this, and I will show you how to adequately protect your Brompton if you need to gate check it. So for my more nimble approach, you will need the following equipment. One Brompton bike cover, shown here. One empty small Ziploc bag. One small Ziploc bag with about five or six rubber bands inside of it. That's shown here. One hex wrench. One tennis ball with a small slit cut into the middle of it. One Ikea Dimpa bag. It's shown here, folded up, folds up pretty small. And lastly, about six or seven pieces of cut pipe insulation with about a one inch inner diameter. Now all of this stuff really fits very easily and quite snugly into your Brompton tea bag. And let me show you that. So the Brompton bike cover, I just put into one of the back pockets over here. And then in addition, I take the two Ziploc bags, I put them in that same pocket, the tennis ball and the hex wrench. Into the main compartment of the tea bag, with all of my other stuff, I put the Dimpa bag. I fold it up. You can even fold it up smaller than I have. And then I take the pipe insulation and I just stuff that into the outer pockets on the front of the tea bag and on the side of the tea bag. And it fits pretty, pretty easily in here and pretty snugly. So I usually put about four pieces in the front pocket and then the other three I put into the, one of the side pockets. And then you can kind of clip everything together. And again, it'll, it'll stay in there. And because the insulation is in the outer pockets, it doesn't kind of get in the way of all your stuff. Notice that still leaves one of the side pockets that's still empty for even more stuff. Step one, getting through TSA x-ray security. Right, so you've packed up your tea bag with all of your stuff in it and you've biked to the airport on your Brompton. So once you're inside the airport, you're gonna to wanna to fold up your Brompton and clip your tea bag to the Brompton like this, and then simply roll the tea bag and Brompton together with you through the airport till you're about 20 yards away from the security line, the x-ray security line. At that point, when you're about 20 yards away, you're gonna to wanna to unclip the tea bag from your Brompton, right? And then take out your hex wrench and loosen your seat from the seat post, remove the seat from the seat post, and put it in your tea bag. Now the reason for doing this is to make the Brompton fit more easily through the x-ray scanner, right? And that happens when the seat is removed. I've done it with the seat on, but it's a very, very tight fit, and the Brompton can get stuck in the x-ray scanner. So by removing the seat, the Brompton will fit much more easily through the x-ray scanner. At this point, take out that tennis ball with the slit in it and simply stick that over the seat post in order to protect it, right? Just like that. Okay, so after the, you've protected your seat post with the tennis ball, now you simply take 
the Brompton bite cover out of the tea bag, and you're going to want to cover your Brompton. And that's done pretty easily, as follows. And again, you're covering your Brompton really to kind of minimize the number of questions that you're going to get from X-ray security from the TSA. Okay, so you cover your Brompton like this. Okay, so your Brompton's covered, and you've got your tea bag here, and you're about ready to go to the X-ray security line. So now you simply take your tea bag and you sling that over your shoulder, and then you pick up your Brompton with your free hand, like so. So you can see I've got the bag slung over my shoulder my Brompton in the other hand, and I'm now going to proceed through the x-ray security line just like this. Okay, so you've made it through the x-ray security line with your teabag and your Brompton, and now you're, you've gotten, you get to the x-ray scanner. When you get to the x-ray scanner, take your teabag, put it on the scanner, send it through, usually no issues, and then take your Brompton, your covered Brompton, and place the covered Brompton with the pedal side down, right, onto the x-ray scanner conveyor belt. Now, when you place it on the conveyor belt, you're going to want to place it so that the rear rack, right, is facing either toward or away from you. If you don't have a rear rack, then the bottom of the wheels should either be facing toward you or away from you. And the reason for this is that with the seat removed, this is the shortest side of the Brompton. So it's going to fit most easily through the x-ray scanner in this orientation, right? So send it through, usually comes through no issues, and when it comes through on the other side, Simply take your covered Brompton off of the conveyor belt, remove the cover, sometimes easier said than done, but usually it comes off pretty easily. And then simply take your Brompton cover and fold it up. Folds up pretty quickly. Put the Brompton cover back into the back pocket of the tea bag. You clip your tea bag onto your Brompton and roll your Brompton and tea bag together as you proceed to your gate. So I usually make it through the TSA without any problems. Occasionally they ask me what the Brompton is and I tell them that it is a personal mobility device in an effort to avoid the word bike. However, sometimes they directly ask me if it is a bike, at which point I tell them that it is. They then, they then typically just usually remark on how cool it is, all right? Now, occasionally the TSA wants to perform their swab or white test on the Brompton in order to make sure that it does not contain any explosives. And that's fine. Just let them, let them swab or wipe the Brompton, analyze the wipe, and then they typically just send you on your way. Step two, getting the Brompton onto the airplane. Okay, so you've arrived at the gate and you're about ready to board the plane. So when you're about ready to board the plane, remove the tea bag from the Brompton and recover the Brompton. Okay, so I'm just pulling out the bike cover here. I'm going to cover the Brompton. And again, the reason that I'm covering the Brompton is kind of to avoid the airline giving me or giving you a hard time um, when you're trying to get the Brompton onto the airplane. It's just kind of better if the bike's covered fewer questions, um, they won't really know that it's a bike, it just looks like a carry-on. Okay, so when you're ready to board the plane, you put the tea bag on your shoulder, and you carry the Brompton in one hand, and you proceed to the jetway. When you get to the jetway, the boarding, the gate attendant will ask for your ticket, you give them your boarding pass, and as you give them your boarding pass, ask for a pink bag tag, all right? Now, don't affix this pink bag tag to the Brompton, but save it for later as you may need it if you're unable to actually carry your Brompton onto the airplane and you have to gate check your Brompton. So save it for later. Okay, so proceed down the jetway. Now, on a large airplane like the 737-700 and the 737-800, the Brompton will fit into the overhead baggage compartment. However, on smaller planes, the Brompton simply will not fit into the overhead compartments. So before entering the airplane, tell the flight attendant, you know, at the door of the airplane, tell the flight attendant that you have a somewhat fragile carry-on that will not fit into the overhead compartment. Ask the flight attendant if they will let you put your fragile carry-on in the coat closet. If they say yes, great, simply put the Brompton in the coat closet. 
So far in my experience, they say yes about 50% of the time. If they say no, then you will need to prepare and protect your Brompton for a gate check. And this can be done on the jetway and it takes about five minutes. Step three, how to gate check your Brompton. Okay, so if you're unable to carry your Brompton onto the airplane, if it doesn't fit into the overhead compartments and they won't let you put it in the coat closet, you're gonna need to gate check the Brompton. So here's how you do it. So the first thing to do is to remove the cover from the Brompton. And again, this can be done on the jet plane. So you simply take the cover off, fold it up as usual. Okay, and now you're gonna take out all of the equipment that you need um, for gate checking it from the tea bag. So I've got the empty Ziploc bag, I've got the Ziploc bag with the rubber bands. I'll take out the DIMPA bag, and I'm gonna take out my pipe insulation and we're going to use the pipe insulation to protect the sensitive parts of the Brompton so that they're protected during you know, the luggage handling process when the Brompton is gate checked. Okay, so the first thing to, to do now is to remove the hinge clamps from the hinges, right? So you just kind of simply unwind them. And they're a little greasy, so I put them into my empty Ziploc bag, and that'll kind of keep them protected and keep the rest of your luggage um, and, and the tea bag from getting dirty because they're kind of greasy. All right, so they go into, into this Ziploc bag and you can put that into the, to the pocket in your tea bag. And now we're going to take the pipe insulation and protect the hinges. All right, so I've got hinges here that I'm going to protect and I've got the second set of hinges here that I'm going to protect. I'm also going to protect the front carrier block so let me turn the Brompton toward you so you can see it. So I'll protect the front carrier block with that pipe insulation. And then I'll protect the pedals. So I'll start with this folding pedal, sorry, the non-folding pedal over here. So let me kind of cover that side of the pedal. And then I'll cover this side of the pedal. Right? And this is just, again, gonna protect that pedal. And then I'll turn the folding pedal to face you and Again, I'll protect one side of it with the pipe insulation and then the other side. All right, so that's that. And then you simply take out your, your, your rubber bands and you secure everything with rubber bands. Just kind of, hold, kind of holds everything in place. So here's the folding pedal, pedal, one rubber band there. And then I'll put a rubber band around the non-folding pedal. Like so. And then a bunch of rubber bands kind of around the pipe insulation that is protecting the block, the carrier block and the hinges. I don't know, usually two or three rubber bands will suffice. You know, you just kind of, kind of put a, a number of them on. That's probably enough, all right? So if you have any leftover rubber bands, put them back in the Ziploc bag and put that in your tea bag. Okay, so now that the Brompton is well protected, we're gonna put the Brompton into the DIMPA bag. So the DIMPA bag further protects the Brompton and it has handles, right? And these handles are perfect for one of the luggage guys to kind of carry the Brompton, to hold it. Okay, so you open up the DIMPA bag. We're going to put the Brompton in the DIMPA bag with the bottom of the wheel side down, or the rack, if you have a rear rack, the rack side goes at the bottom, okay? So, can I get it in there? So, kind of a perfect fit, and then you just zip it up. Super simple. And now you've got the Brompton in a bag with handles, and you can just pick it up really easily. And you give it to the luggage guy, and you say to the luggage guy, you know, please be careful with my Brompton as he gate checks it right onto the airplane. So notice that I also have a sign, right, that I've affixed to the inside of the DIMPA bag, and the sign says, fragile, please handle with care. Again, the Brompton's sturdy, 
but it doesn't hurt to kind of give uh, the luggage handlers just a bit of precaution, a little, little bit of extra warning, right, to be careful when they're handling your Brompton. Okay, so you've gate checked your Brompton, right? You've given it to the luggage guys, they put it onto the airplane. And when you arrive at your destination and emerge from the plane, the luggage guys will bring you your DIMPA bag with your Brompton inside of it. My Brompton has always been returned in pristine condition. It is quite sturdy, well protected, and has never been damaged. By the way, there is a myth that you need to deflate your tires when taking a bike onto an airplane. You do not need to deflate your tires. It is simply a waste of time. Both the passenger cabin and the luggage compartment underneath the plane are pressurized, so nothing will happen to your tires. But even if the luggage compartment were not pressurized, it really would not that matter very much. There's around a 10 PSI difference between air pressure at sea level and air pressure at 35,000 feet where planes fly. Most tires can handle a 10 PSI change in the external pressure. All right, so that's pretty much it. And I hope this video was informative and I wish you much success biking and traveling with your Brompton on an airplane.